As the onstage slap shocked both the audience at home and in the theater. Our David Wade, he's been anchoring from outside of the Wilbur tonight. David, two of the Oscar hosts are now commenting about what happened. Yes, they are. Everyone's been talking about it. Now we're hearing from two Oscar hosts tonight. And I got to say, guys, with the buzz that we're feeling down here on Tremont Street, you would think the Oscars were happening here tonight. Everyone's talking about it out on the sidewalk. And I talked to a couple from Maine. I was hanging out with them for a little bit. They came down for tonight's show. They seemed convinced that Chris Rock will make a joke about Will Smith at some point tonight. I guess we'll know shortly after 7.30 because that's when Chris Rock is expected to take the stage. Now, you mentioned that we heard from two Oscar hosts today, and we did hear from Wanda Sykes and from Amy Schumer, both of them close with Chris Rock. I think we can put their statements up on the screen here. Wanda Sykes said for them to let him stay in the room, talking about Will Smith, and enjoy the rest of the show and accept this award, I was like... How gross is this? It just sends a wrong message. You assault somebody, you get escorted out of the building, and that's it. For them to let him continue, I thought it was gross. That's from Wanda Sykes, obviously a very well-known comedian. Amy Schumer said, I love my friend Chris Rock and believe that he handled it like a pro. I'm still in shock and I'm sad waiting for the sickening feeling to go away from what we witnessed on Sunday night. And I think a lot of people felt the same way. It was sickening to see, especially because we all feel so strongly about Chris Rock and Will Smith, two of the most popular people in Hollywood. Want to bring in now one of the people who will be at tonight's show. This is Steve Blaisdell. He's from Salem, Massachusetts. I know he's excited to see the show. When did you buy the ticket, Steve? I probably got him about six or seven months ago. So obviously you're a Chris Rock fan. I've seen him before here. Can't wait to see him again. Absolutely. How much did you pay for the tickets? Uh, around 100 bucks. How much could you sell them for right now? Uh, last I saw, they were going conservatively, five, 600, wow. probably upwards of 1,000. You didn't want to make that profit. You know what? I really like him, and I didn't want to miss what he was going to say tonight. Before we talk about tonight, tell me what you thought about what you saw on Sunday night. Uh, I was pretty disappointed in, in Will Smith. I, I don't condone violence. I work in the public schools and I really care about what our young young individuals see, so uh, that was disappointing. Uh, but things happen. Hopefully we can learn from it. All right, so 7.30, he walks on the stage. You won't have your cell phone, by the way, because they're going to take it and stick it in a pouch. Yep. Uh, what do you expect Chris Rock to say? Do you think he'll use sort of that biting humor to go after Will Smith? What do you think? Uh, I think he'll take a little bit more of the edge off than uh, he, he might normally. I think this is a, a bigger deal than, than some other issues in the world of comedy. But you're convinced he will address it? I absolutely believe he will address it. All right, Steve Blaisdell, he'll be in the seats tonight as Chris Rock takes the stage. And as you mentioned, Paula and Anaritis completely sold out. Saw somebody on Twitter, guys, the other night who said right after it happened, he jumped online, bought a ticket for $100, and now you cannot touch a ticket without spending, as Steve mentioned, five, six, seven, even $1,000. So everyone will be here and everyone will be talking about it. Back to you guys in the studio. Can't wait to hear what people have to say about his performance. David, thank you.